Now when we go over setting up the standpipe manifold for a surface stack. We want to line up mud pump one to the standpipe manifold. The valve right above the pump goes from the pump to the manifold. The valve above that is the crown valve. That valve right here is a bleed off. We close this valve. Line up mud pump two, the valve above the pump we open and we go across the manifold to the other standpipe. We do not want to go to the choke manifold, so we close this valve. This is the proper lineup for the standpipe manifold on a surface stack. Now, choke manifold. We practice Valeris's policy, hard shutting. The valves before and after the choke will be in the open position. And we're going to close the other valves on the manifold and line up the hydraulic choke. As you can see, the remote choke is at 28%. Go to the orange box, choke manifold. You can see choke position, it is halfway, quarter way open. We press and hold the close button until it is fully closed. Now, it's showing close. We go back and verify on the choke manifold. The valve is showing 0% now, so it is shut. This is the correct lineup for the choke manifold. Now, we'll line up the BOP. <clears throat> As you can see, our angler pressure is kind of low and our manifold pressure is kind of low. And we want to increase our angler pressure to 1000 PSI. So we hit the push the operate button and we push the increase button until we get to 900 PSI and we let go. It should level out around 1000 PSI. Now we want to do the same thing for the manifold pressure. We want to bring it to 1500. So we push, push the operate. And then we push the increase button until it gets to around 1400 and we let go. And it should level out around 1500 PSI. Now we want to hit our flow meter. We want to reset it. And our accumulator pressure is around 3,000 where it's supposed to be. Now, to operate, we hit the push to operate, and we put the stack all green for the rams and anglers. We push and hold until it makes the full light change. We'll register flow on the flow meter. And for the rams, manifold pressure will change and accumulator pressure will change. Once the function is done, the flow meter will stop. Manifold pressure will go back to where it was at. And accumulator pressure, the switch will kick back on around 2800 PSI. Same thing for the lower pipe ram. Push and hold. We're showing flow on the flow meter. Accumulator pressure is dropping. And manifold pressure is dropping. Once the function is complete, flow should stop. And manifold pressure go back to where it was at. Now, your fail safes. They need to be in the closed position. So you can see the choke line is open. So we hit the push to operate and push and hold until the function is complete. And this is the correct lineup for a surface stack BOP for drilling operations.